Have you ever had a 3D print warp after it was done 3D printing? This happens because the top layers cool down too quickly, causing them to contract and the part to warp. Let's try to solve this problem in the most simple way possible. I designed this box, which in theory should insulate the print as it cools down, which should reduce the warping. Daisy came over to say hi as I was setting up the test, and now we'll see if this approach yields any promising results. I threw the box over one of the printers immediately after it finished, and the other printer I left open to the air like normal. Now, as expected, the print that was open to the air warped, but what about the print that was insulated with that box? Mmm, no difference whatsoever. The next course of action was to look into a fully enclosed 3D printer, which I really had no interest in, but hey, if it doesn't solve the problem, I'll just return it, right? Now, Rocco became very impatient, so we had to give him a hamburger just so he wouldn't run amok. And then eventually the 3D printer showed up. Now the Centauri Carbon has been pretty good so far. It's also good to see that Elegoo addressed customer complaints in further iterations, like adding brighter lights for example. But does it solve the problem? That's what I want to know. For reference, here's that warped print on the bamboo once again, and you can see it's pretty bad. Let's see how the Elegoo stacks up. In terms of addressing the problem, the fully enclosed printer was definitely the way to go. The warping is completely mitigated. But now I'm curious, what problems are you facing with your own 3D printers?